Welcome back everybody. My name is Florida Boy and this is my EDC channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something kind of fun. Uh, you've probably already noticed the knife on the table. I hope. <laughs> I've already done a review on this. This is the Bradford G Necker. Um, but what we're going to do today is actually talk about these holes here. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I didn't really use a name per se for this guy right here, but now we're going to. So this is the Mummert, I guess I'm saying that right, Mummert Knives Titanium Slotted Clip, and this thing is awesome. Now, there's a lot of different brands. Uh, you got like your Ulti Clips and stuff like that. Um, I'll try to roll some in, or at least I'll, I may probably just put some links in the description. So, if you look right here, it says features one inch to one and a half inch hole spacing. So, when you look at your neck knives or any of those knives that come with these Kydex sheets that have these little holes right here, a lot of people usually just like paracord them or put wrap paracord around them. Kind of, I guess if you were holding it or wearing it as a necklace, it would kind of, I, I don't know, maybe it's just aesthetics. But if we look right here, and we look at these guys, we are at about one to one and a half inch spacing, you know, depending on where you measure. And uh, that's gonna be really important. And we'll, we're, we're gonna go over that. So the other thing is too, you also have your necklace. So people, you know, if you wear these as a necklace, people slide these through here and then, you know, you have your neck knife you can wear this thing around your neck we're not doing that today today we are going to like I said talk about this little this little wonder so this is the titanium clip from Mamert. and sorry I'm sniffling my my allergies are just riding crazy today I've been having a hard time with those today and pretty much every other day struggles all right, so we'll we'll pull up. Oop, let me just slap my camera. We'll pull up his card real fast. Here you go. He's got a lot of cool variations of this clip. I gotta say, uh, this is just the stone washed, which <laughs> the whole reason why I went with this because it matched the knife pretty well. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get some of this hardware off. So this is this is super easy. There's not a whole lot to this. So we can see here, here's the top part of the hardware. Basically have your rubber washer here, and then um, really all we're gonna do is put him like this, and then screw in from the backside, and then we have a clip. And then I can carry this in my pocket, in my waistband. It's endless possibilities. Uh, let's see, where... Oh. I just blew, I just blew my nose. I'm not going to cut this video to blow my nose. Or maybe I should. I don't know. Uh, well, we'll keep rolling and if it gets worse, I'll, I'll go blow my nose again. Uh, I don't want to be making everybody listen to me sniffling either. Alright, so you can see here, this is the slotted version. So this can move up and down. So... Actually, that looks pretty dang good to me. Let's go ahead and get him out of there. And yeah. All right, there's one. I'm just gonna half tighten these just for a second. And two. And it looks like we're going to have a good fit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to back these out for 
just a sec. Whoop. I'm gonna throw my <laughs> throw, throw my screwdriver around. All right. So what I'm gonna do is crank out the blue Loctite and just make sure that this guy is not gonna run away on me. And my Loctite's looking a little under under duress. <laughs> What's going on with my Loctite? Oh, I don't even. Uh, do I have a cloth that I can use? Oh, that'll work. Okay. Lock type tube. I don't know what's going on with it getting little white spots all right so just gonna do this is liquid that was probably too much but it is what it is all right we'll do I wonder if I need to shake this up. What's going on with this? <laughs> it's coming out like clear. All right, all right, let's see here. Loctite expire? <laughs> or thread locker, whatever you want to call this. Sorry, I had to clean some of that up. A little goes a long way when it comes to this stuff. I might I might reapply on the first one that I did. Oh, I got it on my mat. Let's uh carefully and I'll bring over this guy here we go it feels like it's hardened at the bottom of my tube I'm gonna have to buy some more thread locker yeah that's that's gonna be more than enough So uh, there we go. And I'm just gonna hand tighten. A little bit of tension on there. And we are hand tight. Who would have known putting on thread locker could have been the main part of the video? <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna hang on to this thread locker. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it in the garbage. That way, I gotta buy some new thread locker. And check that out. That is a titanium slotted clip from Mamert. And of course you can, I mean, endless, endless possibilities. My whole, my whole way of thinking is this, this is probably going to go in my waistband. So you can see clip will be here. And when it's inside my waistband, I'll just be reaching down, grabbing like this. That's, that's why I put mine on this side, but you, you do have endless carry possibilities. Um, 
if we where is pocket pocket so I know this thing looks ghetto but man this thing is great for demonstration so if I slide this in a pocket easier said than done whenever you're holding the fake pocket <laughs> So there we go. Here's just like a basic profile, but that's that's in a pocket. Like I said, I'm probably gonna carry mine. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't, mm, maybe one o'clock. I don't know. We'll see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> probably, probably the one or two position, realistically for me. But this shows you can carry it in a pocket. And I was gonna see, yeah. So this this clip, that little that little rounded edge, this thing is great for grabbing seams. Um, I've seen a couple videos about this clip, and that's that's one of the cool things about it is it kind of grabs on itself. So whenever you go to grab this knife and pull it out of the sheath, it it you know see it'll it'll slide obviously, but it does it does a fairly good job trying to grab onto itself um now you can get cheaper clips like the ulti clips but they're really not that much cheaper this this mamert clip i think was 22 dollars 25 dollars and it's slotted titanium and it's you know made in good old usa uh i mean i i have no complaints um go back to go back to this guy here i'm pretty sure this was yeah i'm pretty this is made by this guy so it has to be has to be made in the USA. I, I I feel like I recall seeing that or thinking this is a good reason to buy this. But yes, this is if this is my pants pocket facing down and I reach down, I can deploy there. So no problems at all there. I like it. I dig it. I, I like I like neck knives. I like you know small fixed blades. Love small fixed blades, and uh, I'm a big I'm a big fan of this. Uh, this thing feels great. It really didn't add any weight because it's you know a nice little piece of titanium. Um, of course, you can barely see it from this side. Those washers look like they're doing doing their job. Little rubberized washers. Let's see if we can get up close and personal here. Actually, here we go. Everything is smooth. Everything's knocked down quite nice. Just getting a couple close-up shots. Enjoy the ambience of me not talking. There you go. Okay. Now that you have got to see me install it, um, I'll put a link down in the description below. I, I really, I had no idea about this guy. Um, and they do, they do have quite a few different things. Um, he does make knives. He has knives on there. He has pendants and crosses and all kinds of stuff. So um, I'll put the link in the description below. But here you go. It's mamertknives.com. Well, www, but you you get you get the point here. <laughs> Mamertknives.com. Make sure you go check them out. Um, and uh, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I plan to have the review video out on the XOM pretty soon. Uh, I've been carrying it, been playing with it, so we'll we'll see how that turns out. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, thank you guys again. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing. I post pretty often. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here again. I'll catch you on the next one.